Join us in a festival that promises to be extraordinary because Bali is extraordinary. I'm very excited about that. Um, and if you, you know, over the past few days, I'm sure you would have experienced this festival and it's brought together writers and readers from Indonesia and Australia um, for a shared experience in real time, um, which has been really exciting. Um, and beginning with us, have we got Fred Leone on standby? Yes, he's in the waiting room right now, hoping he's right now. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Fred while he catches his breath and gets ready um, to perform. So as a bachelor songman, Fred is a champion of Indigenous rights. He is the founder of Queensland's only Indigenous-owned record label, Impossible Odds Records. He has a 14-year career working across the Australian hip-hop scene and has toured nationally and internationally to the UK, Canada, China and South America. So let's make Fred very welcome as a first poet. Fred. Um, I wish I was, but I'm not. We're going to switch it up. You know what it's like with technical issues. So we're going to bring Chop, who's also in the virtual waiting room. Now, if you don't know anything about Chop, Chop is an award-winning Balinese author and performance artist, and she's written multiple books on poetry, collections of short stories, and writing for performance. This afternoon, we have a chance to experience a reading of her performance script which received the 2018 award for best theatre performance by Tempo Magazine. Now I will say here for a little bit, but apparently I get to actually talk to Chop before she performs, which will be very exciting. So if we could bring Chop on. Hello, Hannah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, okay. My, my, my voice. 
Are you listening? You hear me? Hey, how are you going? Hi, hi. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for this session. Today, uh, I read uh, only the prologue, the prologue, part of uh, Sakyamuni. Uh, my work is one of experiment in the demystification of painting through poetic text. Uh, Sakyamuni, yeah, you say before, uh, but considering the ice platform, I don't want to uh, travel. Uh, so I think Flora Bonnie and I spent for something day before. I think Purnama, uh, you got it, that? Okay, ready, long. Uh, okay, ready. Okay, the question is that I think Ada should uh, be. Okay, Ada, I, I, uh, I, uh, I, 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 Okay. Hello. Do you want to start doing your? Should we press play on top performance? Let's do that, and then we'll get to spread. Okay, great. Selesai mencari Kau hendak mencari Buddha Atau menjadi Selesai sutra, selesai hafal nama-nama agung Selesai 
juga Mark Yamun Mark selesai Matra selesai Ipana selesai Perdebatan tak mati-mati selesai Harusnya Sakya Mumi itu mati Selesai hari itu Bawah pokok-pokok rindang Perjalanan Irta Yatra Tak boleh kembali Selesai Selesai soal Ihimsa. Ahimsa selesai. Makan segala. Makan segala. Yang cepat itu pada yang akan selesai. Nah itu makanya aku apa ada yang bikin lagi ya? Perjalanan itu juga di tengah bekas kuburan, bekas kubur, bekas itu. Tanam. Dibakar Ada salika Ada pancat luka Ada sebelas Sebelahnya Ada tiga yang ingin selesai Pandang Yang melakukan perjalanan Tak perlu Menyapa Sama Tidak tahu sama tidak tahu benar juga tahu sama tahu perjalanan itu bertutur dari keringat wajah
ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾತ್ರ Mulai diyakini sebagai arah Datang tiba-tiba atau tidak Lelaki tua dengan perempuan For most people in Indonesia, the Magdalena is not.
Trying to fight an uphill battle. Would a cattle get treated better? So today we move forward in this new millennium. Government once is gone, banished to the ends of the earth. But we'll always strive to survive and keep our dreaming intact. And in fact, our elders hold a key to a civilization that promotes peace, love, and harmony. But it's hard to see the future now that we're on the TV. Troublemakers to a culture that was forced on us. There's no mission to be aborted. This is real life struggle. And our missions are boarded, locking us in. Our only sin was our skin. Don't push us out. We are one with this world. Let us in. Learn and let us in. That's my little poem. And now I'm going to sing these songs for you. I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm one of the Bachelor Songmen, one of the three Bachelor Songmen. And uh, if you ever go up to Harvey Bay, along the East Coast, about 
three and a half to four hours north of Brisbane is Harvey Bay. Uh, from Rainbow Beach up to um, just past the very tip of Gary, Fraser Island, uh, that's Butchler Country from Mount Bottle Lap. And uh, this song is a really very, very, very old song. And I've just uh, remixed it here with my uh, doobie whackers and my gadgets to make it um, a little bit contemporary. But the essence of the song is there. You, I hope you enjoy. <clears throat> this is called Yuangan. Yuangan is a dugong. So if you ever go to Harvey Bay and you see Yurangan, it's really in our language Yuangan. There's a little caterpillar sent down by Bira, the big, big sky spirit, sent down with a very important job of giving the land its color. Gumball went around painting and one day came across another sky spirit just lighting up everything. And Gumball said, hey, what's your name? And the sky spirit had had no form. It said, I'm bit of it. I was sent down with a very important job of giving the land its color. And Gumball said, as a caterpillar, I will help you. What can we do? What can we do? How can we work together? So Bitavir said, okay, you hold my pots of Magida, my pots of Oka, hold them on your back. 
It'll make my job much easier. So I don't have to shoot up to the sky country and come back down. So they worked together. And one day they came to a big tree and this, as they started painting the tree and giving the life and the land its color, suddenly uh, a willy wagtail landed and it's called Dinka Dinka. So Dinka Dinka came and said to Gumball, hey, do you want wings like mine? And Gumball said, yes. So Dinka Dinka said, well, eat the leaves, you'll get wings. Started eating. Suddenly he realized that the Dinka Dinka wanted to eat him and was just making him get fatter and fatter. So he hid with spiderweb, him and Bitterbear. A little while later, Dinka Dinka flew off. And when Dinka Dinka flew off, suddenly Bitterbear and Gumball came out of the cocoon as Balambi, the butterfly. And to this day, bachelor people, we say that if you look at the back of Balambi, you will see every color of the rainbow. And if you look at the back of Gumball, the little caterpillar, you'll see the little black dots. And that's where the pots of paint sat. I'll quickly sing you this song. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for sharing your stories and your beautiful music with us today. That was so awesome, Fred. Um, and now, lastly, we've got Hassan. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about Hassan while he makes his way to the stage. Um, Hassan was born in Iraq in 1960 and came to Australia in 2003 with his wife, who's here today, and children. A poet and journalist, he has published three poetry collections in Arabic, and tonight we're really lucky to hear that he'll be reading in English and Arabic from his first English language collection of poetry, which is entitled Poems That Do Not Sleep. Such a great title. Thank you so much, Hassan. Let's make him welcome. Uh, Instagram for the world. I would like to include it. I would like to include the Wakaj people, the traditional guardian of the land on which I serve and pay my respect to their sieges, past and the present. I hope, I hope this event, especially my poems, will touch the heart and soul of everyone in the hall, because when the poet attends, angels come down from the heaven and recite poem with him. One people in the hall he shot Allahu Akbar. All the people hiding under the chair. But when he say, I am poet, all the people come and sit the chair and say, thank you, my God. Uh, so I read in Arabic, and after this I read in English. 
first poem, جنسية أربعون عاما في بلدي قضيت نصف عمري في الحرب سائق دبابة لقد جرحت أكثر من مرة لكني لم أحصل على جنسية من الدرجة الأولى كانت الشرطة السرية تراقبني دائما لأن أجدادي من الهند عندما وصلت إلى استراليا بعد عامين حصلت على الجنسية عندما يسألني أحدهم ما هي جنسيتك؟ أقول أنا عراقي لكن ليس لدي أي جنسية أصلية من بلدي حتى الآن I think don't understand anything now I read in English citizenship for 40 years in my country I spent half of my age in the war the driving tank I was wounded more than once but I do not get first class nationally. The secret police watch me always because my grandparents are from India. When I arrive in Australia, after two years, I obtained citizenship. When someone asks me, what is your nationality? I say, I am an Iraqi, but I do not have any original citizenship for my country even now. وطن 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 بلاد بلاد أضع يدي على فمك يصبح وردة أضع يدي على عينيك تصبحان النجمتين أضع يدي على خديك يصبحان خميلتي خوخ أضع يدي على حاجبيك يصبحان نهرين من الماس أضع يدي على جبينك يصبح معبدا أضع يدي على رقبتك تصبح شمعة أضع يدي على ثدييك يصبحان مزارين مقدسين أضع يدي على قلبك يصبح وطني Homeland I put my hand on your mouth it became a rose I put my hand on your mouth. It became a rose. I put my hand on your eyes. They became two stars. I put my hands on your cheeks. They, beca- they became a beach, a beach garden. I put my hands in your eyebrows. They became two river of diamond. I put my hand on your brow. It became a temple. I put my hand on your neck. 
it became a candle. I put my hand on your breast. They became two holy sharings. I put my hand on your heart. It became my homeland. Our last one. Um. I don't tell the dress in English. I read in Arabic now and not this. But this not need to smile. I think need some tears. Um. عندما هربت من الحرب جاءت أمي لزيارتي في السجن نهاية الشهر لقد جاءت في يوم زيارة السجناء حاملة الطعام ومجموعة من الكتب في سلة خوص كنت قد طلبت منها إحضارها من مكتبتي بالكاد حصلنا أنا وهي على مكان للجلوس في فناء السجن الذي ملأته عوائل السجناء في تلك اللحظة شعرت أن حياتي كانت مثل قبر بلا شاهدة قلت لها دعيني أضع رأسي في حضنك حتى أشعر أني ما زلت على قيد الحياة حتى أني أشعر ما زلت في هذه الحياة عندما ركلني حارس السجن استيقظت لم تكن والدتي هناك كنت أحلم إنها جاءت رغم أنها وفت المنية منذ سنوات Mother, when I absconded from the war, my mother came to visit me in the prison at the end of the month. She came on the day of visiting a prisoner. Carrying food and collection of book in the wick basket, I had asked that she bring me from my library. She and I barely got a place to sit in the courtyard uh, of the prison, which was over Hamlet by the meeting of the family. In that moment, I feel, I feel that my life was life, was like a grave without wings. I said to her, let me put my head in your lamp so that I feel like I am still in the life when the prison guard kicked me, I woke. My mother was not here. I was dreaming that she came. So she passed away a year ago. Thank you. Oh, I don't know about you guys. I'm reflecting a lot right now. That was such a beautiful performance. Not only was the poetry just so, oh my God, stunning, but I want to cast Hassan in a TV show. Your performance skills are beautiful. Oh my God. Thank you so much to Fred. Thank you so much to Chalk uh, for performing for us today virtually. Thank you to you for joining us. Hassan will be in the foyer um, signing copies of his book if anyone wants to have a chat. Um, and this concludes the Writers' Festival. So congratulations to everyone who's been a part of this festival. Thank you so much.
and I hope to see you guys again. So enjoy your evening. See you later. <laughs>